Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to be testing out a foundation. I want to do a lot more of these videos on my channel in 2019, just kind of testing out individual products rather than just makeup videos. I've already moisturised my face, so my face does look a little bit red in places and it always goes a little bit red when I moisturise it, but then it kind of dies down because usually my skin looks kind of how my neck looks, but it's because I've moisturised. So I'm going to pop my little rabbit ears on get my hair out of my face that's nice there we go see this is what my skin really does look like but then as soon as I bring my hair down it makes my face look red but anyway so today I'm testing out the Primark my perfect color glow foundation and this one is a medium buildable coverage so and it says a radiant natural finish this is what the bottle looks like it was six pounds it's got an SPF of 30 in it which is quite good so great for summer I got mine in the shade nude beige this is actually a perfect shade for me in my opinion I think this would be a great one for summer because I have actually tried this out a few times in terms of over the last couple of weeks since I got it for Christmas because I just wanted to test it out and I just wanted to see how it looked on my skin and just you know give it a good test before I did this video but I am going to be testing it out on my face where I'm going to put half primer on one face with the foundation and half without primer show a wear test throughout the day that kind of thing just to show you what it looks like because it's only six pounds and Primark have upped their game with foundations so I just want to offer to you and just tell you what it's like because it says glow foundation this seems to be something that you wouldn't really think a kind of oily skinned person should wear and I have oily skin but I personally quite like this and as long as you powder well afterwards then that's fine so I'm going to start to put this on and basically it's like a pet type thing and unfortunately it does not pipette enough product out so you know what can you do so I have to literally pipette like loads of little like it doesn't really prepare anything if I'm honest so I have to kind of wipe it off the stick and that's the only problem but that's a packaging problem rather than a product problem okay so whilst that warms up on my hand I'm just gonna use some primer I'm using my elf hydrating face primer this is the one that I've got it looks like this it's in like a blue bottle they've got loads of other ones but this one is the hydrating one and I'm gonna put this on half side of my face and not on the other just to see how the foundation reacts with the primer and without the primer so I'm literally gonna take that it is quite kind of gel like it fills in your pores so it's one of those kind of silicone primers that fills your pores in and I quite like it whilst also making your skin feel very hydrated my skin is not this red in real life can I tell you why it makes my skin look red? The reason why the camera makes my skin look red is because the background is white. If the background was not white, it would not make my skin look this red. Applied to my face on this half. And that's where we're gonna see if it's any better. So I've applied it on the right side of my face. So this is my right, your left. And now I'm gonna pop on some foundation. So there we go. I'm just gonna pop this around my face in the usual areas when you're testing out a foundation or if you're testing out anything you've got to keep everything else consistent so that includes sealer and everything and I just want to see how it is with and without a primer and that almost tests if a primer makes a difference so I'm going to be using this bamboo buffing brush which is one off Amazon I do believe and I really really quite like this one and I'm just going to buff that in. I say I've got like a tiny hair on my nose. Anyway, I'll come a little bit closer. I'm going to start with the prime side. Obviously, I've used this several times before, as I've already explained. And in my personal opinion, you know, it does say on the bottle that it's medium to buildable coverage. I would say it's, I would say it's definitely light to medium. You can build it up to a good medium coverage, but it isn't certainly isn't anywhere near full anyway but you can see the coverage but when your skin's not so bad having like a lighter coverage just doesn't matter then I'm going to buff in the side without the primer and I can already feel the difference physically I can feel the difference with the brush 
it doesn't feel like it's blending in as nicely as it does with the with the prime side the prime side's almost like a tacky base for it to stick to so yeah already i'm noticing that i prefer the prime side in terms of how it feels to apply i'm the kind of person that doesn't like to spend too much on a foundation because to me i'm comfortable with wearing any sort of a foundation as long as it works well so that's why i want to do this video just to show you how the foundation is you might want to buy it yourself because you don't have to buy expensive foundations especially not on an everyday basis you know if you've got the money fair enough but most of us uni students don't have that money so i'm just gonna kind of even this out so in my opinion this side feels a lot more glowy than this side and kind of it looks more glowy can you see the difference so in terms of primer i feel like i'm about to cry and i don't know why so yeah this is the prime side this is the non-prime side looking at it i actually think the non-prime side does look better than the prime side because this side looks a little bit more kind of dewy you know in my personal opinion um but yeah as you can see this is definitely a light to medium coverage foundation you can still see you know any spots or anything that i have or any scarring on my face so it's definitely not you know i wouldn't say it's medium to buildable i would say that's a pushing it claim to make but i'm now going to conceal using my big cover liquid concealer you might be wondering why am i putting concealer on when i'm testing out the foundation well this is what i would normally do so i think when you're testing something out like i've already said you've got to do what you would normally do so this is simply it by the way this concealer is considerably light um but you know when you're bronzed and everything like that it's fine okay so that is my concealer done this is what i look like wow ghostly when i've got my hands up but when i bring them down go back to normal so this is what my face looks it looks quite dewy quite glowy that'll be a from the hydrating primer and b from the glow foundation and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to powder this down and i'm going to be using my makeup gather makeup gallery smoothly does it powder which is this one here i have this in my 2018 makeup favorites i'll link that down below if you want to go and watch that where i talk about how much i love this powder so now you can see it in action so i'm just going to take a fluffy brush and i'm going to take a bit of that and pack it on i literally i don't swipe because then you swipe the foundation i pack it on so you're setting it in place just to really kind of mat this down this is only a pound from poundland okay so now you can see how well that mattifies everything down i'm now going to go i'm going to do my bronzer my blusher my highlighter eyeshadow brows lips everything setting spray and then i will get back to you but this is what it looks so far prime side non-prime side i think at the minute this side definitely looks better but maybe that's just because that's my better my better facial side i don't know but i'm gonna let you know how the foundation goes throughout the day keep you updated and keep you posted until i wash it off so there we go but so far i think i've managed to achieve a nice looking base and yeah so far so good okay i am back i've finished my makeup and obviously i'm wearing different clothes to what i was wearing before it's because i've just filmed another video i filmed a video testing out the revolution palette this is the reloaded passion for color palette it's either up on my channel or it will be up so stay tuned and this is the eye look that i created using that palette but anyway i'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so we can look at the skin so it's probably been like I would say like half an hour to 45 minutes since I was last, you know, since I last filmed in this video. So this is what the, my skin looks after I've done my makeup. I've used setting spray, I've used bronzer, blusher, um, eyebrows, I, you know, everything. I've used everything. So, so far, I think both sides look very, very similar. Primers not really affected either side. I think primers mainly work in the application of 
your foundation afterwards and also in longevity so we'll have to test longevity later on i'm going to be filming another video in a second so after that video i might do another check-in and let you know how it goes because when i've got studio lights on me it does make my skin quite oily but again this is the non-prime side and this is sorry this is the prime side and this is the non-prime side and you can be the judge of which one you prefer but i'll check in with you in a little bit Okay, so I've just finished filming my last video. This is what my skin looks like up close. I've got obviously like spots and things like that, but um, yeah, my skin's starting to get a little bit oily because I am in front of the studio art light. But anyway, I'm gonna check in with you later on in the day in like a few hours and let you know how it's going. Okay, so it is a few hours later, so I probably had the foundation on for three hours. It's starting to get quite oily, as you can see. Primer side, I actually think the non-primed side is actually oilier than the primed side now, which was the other way round. Obviously, remember the primer was a hydrating primer, so you would expect it to have a little bit of glow, but I do feel, and I can feel it in my skin, that this side feels oilier than this side. You would also expect, because you can kind of see that on camera, you would also expect the primer because it, it's meant to make your um, foundation last longer or your makeup last longer so I'm presuming that um, it's just stopping oils like my natural oils from coming out on this side whereas on this side it's letting the natural oils come out a little bit more so that's what my face looks like right now god highlighter Woo but yeah I'm not powdered I'm not gonna powder or anything like that this is what my skin looks like up close. And then on this side. So pretty similar to be honest. I don't think the primer is making much of a difference. This isn't a primer testing video. This is the foundation testing video. But I just want to show what it is like with and without the primer. Which is pretty much exactly the same. Just a slight difference I would say. So I'm going to go and do a workout now. I'm going to do a home workout. I'm going to follow one of Lucy Wyndham Reed's workouts. I'll link her down below if you want to do any of her workouts. But yeah. Um, I'm going to do that. And we're going to see what it looks like in a few a couple of hours time considering i've been working out and i'm also going to be eating some food so let's see shall we this is my makeup and it is nearly nine o'clock so my makeup's been on for like seven or eight hours as you can see i'm very oily i'm always oily and i've got oily skin if i my um, foundation's lasted pretty pretty well if i'm honest like look at that that's crazy it's kind of rubbed off slightly on my chin um a little bit around my mouth where i've been eating but overall it stayed up pretty well if i kind of dabbed my face with a bit of um toilet paper or tissue or whatever if i've dabbed my face with a little bit of tissue and then i powdered my face it would almost look good as new because my eyeshadow stayed my eyebrows have stayed the only thing that i would need to touch up is obviously powder and lipstick and then we'd be all good to go and i am actually going to tesco's in a minute so i am going to be doing that i'm going to touch my face up so i'll show you how i do that and what i look like once i've done that i'm gonna basically say that both sides of my face look to be quite similar. The, I would, in my personal opinion, say that the prime side is not as shiny and not as oily as the non-prime side. So this is the prime side and I can feel that it's not as oily as this side. So obviously the primer did do something. It's not just me saying that, this is me genuinely thinking that. Yeah, overall it pretty much stay on both sides it's a really good foundation it's last throughout the day it's not amazing coverage but then you know not every foundation has to be big big coverage again it only really kind of came off on my chin area also i don't touch my face and if you touch your face um, in any way then obviously any foundation is going to kind of move around or move off if you want your foundation to last all day do not touch it and i have not touched my face at all or i've tried not to anyway so in a minute i'm gonna powder my face and i'll show you what it looks like when you have been i don't know out all day you come back home you might need to go out somewhere in the evening and you don't want to redo your makeup so i'm gonna kind of just literally pat it down and then powder on top and i'll show you what that looks like now 
so I've got my tissue it doesn't look as oily right now because I'm not directly in the light but I'm literally just going to grab this and I'm literally just going to pat it down you don't want to swipe because you don't want to remove makeup you're removing oil so no foundation really is actually coming off it's all oil that's coming off onto the tissue and I know that this is a little bit kind of weird thing to do but if you've got oily skin you'll know what I mean forehead okay now I'm gonna powder I think I left my powder downstairs or did I oh no I didn't it's here so I'm gonna go in with this powder again and again this brush hello there and I'm just gonna powder over I am just going to Tesco with dad it is 9 p.m. We're going for a walk to get some semolina, which if you know what that is, it's something that you put on a pizza base. So I've now powdered my face and blotted it down. And as you can see, you, there's almost kind of no oil. There's only sort of shine where my highlighter is. So overall, you can really kind of sort it out when you look like an oily mess. Just have some powder. Use the one from Poundland. It's so good. Um, and you're all sorted. So this is it at the end of the day, which I think is pretty good. If you look in the mirror, at what it looks like um okay you can't see my face oh there we go if you look in the mirror at what it looks like i think it looks pretty good to be honest for kind of the end of the day having it on all day so i am about to go to tesco and i will end this video now so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this little foundation testing video i have got another foundation to test on this channel so stay tuned for that but if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video Bye.